close friends <laughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel um took a little week off last week but y'all don't care about that y'all want me to be good some of y'all don't even care what be going on you want to vlog and that's fair girlfriend that's like your friend going like do being so busy and you like still call me um yeah that's how some of y'all are and the other bit of y'all is like do you think girl anyways um i am about to go make some that and then go to bed um i already washed up did everything i need to do oh we are gonna have to talk because i got something to tell y'all and tell me if it makes sense or tell me if it's a traumatic response and honestly y'all are my friends you know that like we talk off of youtube and we talk on instagram and you know i love when y'all comment on here too i mean it only helps me grow but we also talk off of instagram so tell me what y'all think um we'll talk about it maybe we'll talk about it on a ride tomorrow but i know if i talk about it in front of cassie she's gonna be like oh no i don't like that don't think like that or she might agree i don't really know but I know my girl, um, we got the same birthday, so I know she might have a different outlook on it. I don't know. We'll talk tomorrow. I'm about to go pray. My uh, prayer garment is from Honey Hijab. Y'all can't really see right there. Hold on. Excuse me. Inappropriate. Yeah. Get right with God and stop flying. I just finished prayer. Um, so I feel like we can talk about it now, just so like y'all are not waiting the whole video. And I really, really want y'all thoughts or let me know if you felt this way before or yeah just feedback to know that like i'm not tripping okay and ever since i opened up to y'all about like personal life like love life and all of that i just feel like i can't stop opening up to y'all i mean i don't get too crazy but i'll tell y'all stuff so because y'all are my friends and nobody is going to tell me that y'all are not um yeah so Here's the tea. The tea is I love being single. And I don't, I just came to that conclusion and I was telling my ex about it. Like, I like being single. And don't get me wrong, I really love love. Like, I am a hopeless romantic, but I'm also a realist too. And if if I feel like you are not adding value and you are not just that special some special somebody that make that makes my heart flutter and I don't want to jump on you as soon as you walk through the door hear me out I know that's very like girl welcome to the real world I get that but I want to feel a certain way about my husband I just honestly feel like you can't come in here draining me you can't come in here needing 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 I don't know how that sounds, but you can't come in here just any old thing. I'm working on myself way too hard to just accept anybody as my person. You get what I'm saying? And so I just really, I don't be going to sleep with my stomach hurting. I don't be going to sleep like stressed out, worried about nobody. I don't be like, oh, you know, it's been all day. Like, I'm a girl that loves peace, okay? And I feel like if you come in here disrupting my nervous system, I'm not, I can't do that to myself. Like, I'm, like, if I thought I loved me, before I really love me now you know I've always I've always thought like oh I love myself I love myself because of how I carry myself right but a part of loving yourself is not letting bs through the door okay and that's the back door so a part of me is like nah I'm just loving this part way too much like I'm in the gym for like two hours a day and then I'm home working all the time. I'm on this laptop. I just, 
And I'm not the type of person that puts my career before anything. Like, if love comes to me and he said, baby, close that laptop, I got us. You ain't getting no fight out of me. But you also cannot bring me no nonsense. Like, I'm not... You're not going to dog me out and treat me any kind of way. And I just... I don't want that. I just want a peaceful love. Um, but I'm just saying, I truly enjoy being single. And... I'm going to even go as far as to say, <laughs> that's too far. I was about to say I'd rather be single, but that's a little too far because I don't know how I might feel in my 40s. You know, this is the 30s. So let me calm down. But I'm just saying in these 30s right now, I appreciate it. Like I'm trying to raise my kids and granted, it would have been beautiful to raise them with their fathers but that did not happen so um yeah y'all very deep in my business right now so let's pull back let's reel it in but no yeah um i'm just waiting on isha so that's why i said let me sit down isha prayer is the last prayer of the night if you're not familiar um so i'm just waiting on the last prayer of the night and after that, I can go to bed. I don't know, y'all. Allah knows best. And I can't plan, plan, plan. I'm not a person to plan, plan, plan my life. Um, we roll with the punches and we do no complaining. But I just want to get that off my chest because I don't know if there's women out there that feel like this. Like, the way I hate... Let me tell you something about my nervous system. Let me really briefly tell y'all. When you have tra childhood trauma, right... You can't, anything does not fly when you're an adult. It just don't fly. It just, nobody could talk to me a certain way. You can talk, you can, you, I'm checkable, okay? I'm checkable and I'm teachable. You can teach me anything and you can check me. I will shut up. So that's not the issue. The issue is you not going to treat me no kind of way. And I'm not. I'm not projecting that, okay? But I am, I've had experiences, obviously. You know, I'm a single mom, so I've had experiences. But the way I don't be going for nonsense, y'all, I don't be going for it. I don't be going for it. Because I'm an adult now, and I can, you know, back then, that's why I said, remember I said earlier, oh, yeah, there's some drama there. But, you know, when you're little, you really can't speak up for yourself, when you're older, you be like, uh, no, boundary. Boundaries be set so hard. My friends be laughing like, yo, you don't play. Boundaries be set. And, and I don't want to come off like I am like talking myself out of a love story. But if he's for me, he's for me. And if I'm one of the aunties that never had a man, <laughs> as long as my kids come visit me and treat me like a... A princess, a, a queen, you know? Um, I don't know. Because it gets tricky with me. Because I say all of this and then find somebody and I'll be liking them and I don't vlog for three and four weeks. So you just never know with me, okay? So just, you don't know.